Okay guys, check out this, the Aldebra giant tortoise. And today I'm gonna sketch it and give you some facts. Okay, the Adabra giant tortoise gets its name from the islands of Adabra, which is in the western part of the Indian Oceans. Many of these giant tortoises are driven to extinctions by European sailors because they tend to like eating things a lot. And many of the islands around there, the tortoises, they become extinct by about 1840. With the exception of the Aldabra giant tortoise. One thing I have to say about big turtles, so these big poops. Check this out. This guy tends to be a herbivore. Likes to graze on grass. And if you check out its droppings, you can see grass in the droppings. It's been known to eat leaves. It's even been known to eat a little bit of carrion sometimes. So some people say this is the largest tortoise in the world. Most people would sort of claim it to be the second largest. It is a big tortoise. Its carapace averages about 122 centimetres, which is 48 inches in length. And it weighs, on average, 250 kilograms. Crikey, that's heavier than me. Which is around about 550 pounds. So one of the things I liked about this guy here was these sort of like, sort of wrinkly bits coming down here. So like an old man like me. Yeah, this nice big rough shell. And you have this almost delicate head on this really long neck. Then he's got these big feet. It almost looks like the swollen there with big toes here. Feet look too almost too big. Well, you see the big shell, big feet, and then you got this skinny long neck and this little head. One of the things that makes them kind of adorable, really. The turtles are sort of funny. There's something about their, their heads that are funny. Uh, this guy yawned really briefly. I just sort of briefly got this sort of like a yawn. Just sketch it as quick as I could. Sometimes with sketching, that's all you get. Tempted front view, because front views are always funny when you get it. I sort of missed that. It's not a bad portrait of him, this one here. And then of course then he started moving off on me. A bit of shadow on there, it always looks good with a bit of shadow there. Once he started moving away from me, just sort of like, he was moving, I was trying to sketch, but then it went, and just, it's laying down, so I got a, a chance to get a good sketch in. And that's this one here. It doesn't look too small there. It's probably a bit more like that, I think. <laughs> look at funny backs of the head, so really such a funny little animal. And then there's the wrinkles, these wrinkles here. I like these sort of folds of skin, They're like a wrinkly old man stuck in a carapace. That's what makes them unusual. I just love them. They're just the fun creatures. A great experience. So that was at Tulsa Zoo in Oklahoma where I sketched that. Nice one. <laughs>